I just finished, uh, I'm about to walk up to the comedy store, and, um, basically I'm just checking in, popping in, you gotta show face sometimes in LA, you just gotta pop in, you don't ever know what the hell's going on out here, I just left the comedy union, um, and they had a showcase for, uh, for Bounce TV is having a comedy show come out, right now, man, they're auditioning for Comic Views coming back, they're auditioning for the Bounce TV show, so it's looking like some stuff's popping off, and your boy may matriculate, a TV credit for some stand-up. Lord knows if they put them cameras on me on TV, I'm going to blow the roof off. The issue is, do the gatekeepers know? Because the Lord and my family and my following and my friends, y'all know. But wait till the world does. Anyway, I'm about to get into the comedy store um, and see what's really good. Uh, tonight was Esau McGraw's night. And um, I'm basically just kind of catching the let out. Just got to show up sometimes. All right, peace. I'm DJ Quick, whether on TV or in these streets, I'm still the lick. I went from drinking A Paul to making demos to drinking Hennessy and Chevy's Regal in the back of the limo. Get my issue in life. You can't hate that. And when I tell you about yourself, player, you can't take that. Cause y'all be cross faced. If you don't understand, you gotta sign I got one, but you be crossing over here to see what's in my hand. Yeah, but that's cool too. I guess my money on the double, that's what I do. Hitting them brown bubbles and avoiding trouble. Those to choose with nothing to lose. And a million of you players wanna be in my shoes, but you don't understand. On outside of the comedy store, the world famous comedy store on the Sunset Strip. You know what it is? This is my vloggy vlog. Jack, come over here. No, over on this side. I ain't filming this one. I'm filming this way. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set y'all up. No, no, I'm gonna set you up. Uh, Dave Chappelle came in, popped in, and just uh, decided to be a comedy angel this evening. And uh, there was two young comics outside that could not get in, and he pulled them on stage and let them perform for a minute and a half each. They're both phenomenal, and here they are. I'll let them tell. Yeah, man, it was, uh, it was Chappelle. Wonderful. Chappelle just asked us to come inside. He yeah. said, "You got three. We were like, "Yeah." Went on stage, flipped the corn. Yeah. I went first and did really well. Yeah. Valentina went for second He's, and killed. It was all him. He set it up perfect, man. This he was, wants to fuck Oprah, so <laughs> every, anything below Oprah is mediocre, I mean, and he killed that shit. It was all you though, man. No, no, it's definitely. I mean, you did your shit. This was, so, our, this was our Eddie Murphy. I'm just putting it off for Seattle, nigga. Moment, 206, 425. Yesler, nigga. Is, I did it from Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> the Yesler way. Yesler way. So, nigga, what happened? Y'all was outside, couldn't get in, walked in, and what? We're, uh, we're standing out there for like 20 minutes watching him. He kept waving at us, and then he said, come on in. Yeah. We walked inside, we had a quick conversation, Yeah. and then the rest is history. What did he make you call him? What's sensei. 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 He's our sensei. You still called that nigga Dave. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yes, sensei, yes. I think it literally bowed. This nigga Valentino was like, sensei. I mean, he's one of the reasons I'm doing it. So, like, yeah, he's really, the greatest of all time. Yeah, no great, doubt. Great. Hopefully you see him. All right, so, so far in life, as you've decided to follow your dreams and be comics, this ranks memory number what? One. 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 Easily. This is, if, if I do MSG, this is still number one. Yes. I can tell what about MSG. when you lost your virginity? Nah, it still beats it. It's beats. It beats Boo it. that pussy. Yay, yeah. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Nice look at him. They, look, see, she remembered your name. Nick, that's almost like say your name. <laughs> yes. Matter of fact, say it now. Valentino McCoy. Jack Knight. Jack Knight. Now say bye. Bow! <laughs> So I just finished watching Dave Chappelle rock at the uh, comedy store on Sunset Strip. Y'all saw Jack. Y'all saw Valentino. It was dope. But the way the world works is you have a really good, you have a really good moment. And this, this is something that I do. Like if, if things are going really good, like if I get some really good news or say I won something or if, like if I hit a scratch ticket and win, I'm going home. Because to me, when things are good, it ends up going the other way and shit can go bad fast. See what I'm holding? Let's take a look at this. That's right. That's right. I got a $53 ticket. 53 bucks. Parked in the lot. Paid my little $2 before. Here's the thing. I was going to park on the other side, and the dude at the hotel was hating on me, talking about if you park here, it's $20. And I was like, $20 is too much. Well, now I didn't pay $53. But you know what? I actually am just going to look at it another way. I'm just going to say, hey, I saved about 47 bucks on the Dave Chappelle ticket because I'm sure they're going for $100 in arenas. And I just watched him perform for over an hour. And yes, he still has it. He is hysterical. And and and, and just rocked a little crowd. Just chilling. Niggas on stage smoking cigarettes. Like, he don't give a fuck. And you know why? Because he doesn't. I know some of you watching this don't want me to cuss. But let me tell you. There's, there's, a, certain, there's a certain 
demeanor when you do not give a fuck. And I'm not talking about when you just don't care or when you when you don't mind. I'm talking about somebody who does not give a fuck. And Dave Chappelle does not give a fuck anymore. You hear me? That man that went to Africa and, and uh, changed, changed his life and got away from everything that was holding him down. And sometimes you just got to do that. You got to step away. And that's what I'm going to do. Step away from this $53 ticket.